We're about to wrap up this edition of Hawk to Hawk and our visit with Marshall Yonda. In the summer of 2013, Yonda's hometown, Anamosa, Iowa, spent a Sunday afternoon celebrating his football accomplishments. The Anamosa High is uh, dedicating their weight room to you and they're also retiring your jersey number. Yep. Talk about that experience. Is that going to be pretty neat? Yeah, um, it'll kind of be like my first, uh, first um, event uh, coming back to high school and just uh, being remembered and, uh, and just you know, seeing all the old faces from being, uh, being in high school and, and all those memories and stuff. So it's, it's a special deal and uh, you know, I'm honored and fortunate to, uh, you know, to be playing long enough and being successful and to, to have that. So uh, it'll just be a, a special deal. It should be a fun day. And uh, you know, exciting for Animosa too. Just kind of, kind of, you know, just put some shine, some light on Animosa. You know, it's, nobody knows where that is, and uh, it's just, uh, it's a neat deal, and uh, happy to be a part of it. Yeah, and it's, it's been pretty neat for this town to be able to yeah. watch someone come from their, their guy that grew up here on the farm and went to high school to be able to watch them on the big stage, and now come back as a as a Super Bowl champion. Yeah. It's got to be pretty neat for them. And but mm -hmm. a, a thing is, and, and and you haven't changed. And you've yep. gone on, and you've experienced all these great things, and had all this great success. Yep. But I think one of the things that that happens with, what, that comes with celebrity is you haven't changed, but the way people view you, I think, has changed. Yep. Do you encounter that at all? Do, do you feel that, that people are maybe a little starstruck around you? That they tiptoe a little bit more? Are you no longer Marshall, the, the guy with the farm down the street? And that, do they feel a little bit awkward towards you? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, I think it's sometimes hard for them to relate because they they feel like I've I've changed, you know. And if I haven't seen them for a while, they they're kind of a little tentative. But I make sure, you know, after they talk to me for a half hour and they realize that, you know, I haven't changed and. And you know, and, and, and you know, one of the big things was Coach Ferentz told me right after I got drafted, I was leaving the facility for the last time. And he said, "You're going to love it there." You know, he's been to Baltimore. He just said, "Don't ever change who you are as a person, no matter what." It's like the money's great, and you're going to enjoy, it and you're going to be able to do great things. But he said, "Don't ever change as a person." And I've always thought about that. You know, when because there's a lot of times where instances where guys do change, and money is hard. You know, it, it rips families apart, and it changes people, and, and for the good, sometimes the bad, too. So I tried, you know, I made an emphasis not to change, to, to be humble, to stay hungry, to, to not feel like that I've made it and that I can look down on people. You know, I'm, I'm just uh, a guy that's been, you know, blessed with, you know, football abilities and had some, uh, you know, a really good run of luck and worked hard for it. So, you know, I don't think that I should be viewed as a, you know, a celebrity or anything like that, but I just think that I should be viewed as a guy that works hard and that, uh, that's just earned what he's got. So that's why I always tell people, you know, relax, you know, I'm the same old guy, I ain't gonna change, you know, I'm gonna farm when I get done. You know, you don't need to, you know, be all on guard. So yeah, that happens a lot. Marshall can be described in many ways. Husband, father, hard worker, Iowan, Hawkeye, pro bowler, and of course, Super Bowl champion. He is an elite athlete with roots that run deep in the state of Iowa and at the University of Iowa. To see more of my Hawk to Hawk conversation with Yonda, visit HawkeyeSports.com for additional video. I'm Nate Kading, and thanks for joining us.